<laughs> what is up, you guys? Xenoforzer! Welcome to another Wi Fi Val, which is real course, the Scarender. And, well, before we go into the game, I kind of want to say to, of course, everybody who's following my channel that I'm sorry that I haven't been able to record anything lately. And quite frankly, um, I think we found out a way to make this work, even with a child in mind. So, the, the initial thought here is to at least have one weekly battle a week. Hopefully more than that with the way we structured things. So a bit of a longer intro just to kind of get that out of the way. I really want to stress to you guys that, you know, I haven't lost my edge or anything like that. I just haven't been able to balance out the Pokemon side of my life with, you know, for the family life. And of course work. It seems like work and family life has the top priority. Then Pokemon, who is my stress reliever, just isn't making it anymore. But I think we found a way to make that work. And of course now a small vacation. So I should be able to at least get something out of the way. So with that said, we have now, of course, entered CU, which is something I really want to play for quite some time. I'm going against my good old friend Gara, who is a tremendous battler for, you know, every way that isn't meta-wise. I mean, that this guy is just usually carrying the weirdest stuff and are successful in doing that, which is something I think is really rare. I myself think I'm using quite the obscure team, but I do have a Rodent Frost, and I want to stress out that it's the strongest Pokemon in CU, so it's in, it's there for the reason that it is very, very strong, and I kind of felt that I couldn't build a team without having that in mind, so um, I said a bit of a cop-out, because everything else is just really cool. So we have a Assault Vest Waylord, um, Scuffed Rotom, uh, Banded Torterra, which is awesome. Uh, really aren't anything that take hits from this Pokemon that well. Uh, we have a Lunatone, which is a Rock Polish set, set with Rock UMC. Uh, defensive Alolan Sandslide with Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, and then Earthquake Ice Cool Crash. So you get with a fighter, Fighting Sil Valley uh, with um, Sword Stance, U-Turn, um, Multi-Attack, and of course it's a Headbutt to cover Poison type too. Clearly wall that sets fairly alright. So with that said, our opponent here has, of course, a tremendous core here in Minum, which is awesome. Uh, Beautifly, which I don't necessarily have a way of actually tackling that well. Uh, Wigglethuff, which can be whatever. Vibrava, which is a great defogger of this tier. Arbok, which is actually deemed to be quite offensively good in CU. And of course, Dugong, which we already know has two or three priorities in Fake Out, Ice Shot, and Aqua Jet, but also got Liquidation this generation. So, um, yeah, really scary team here. I don't know which one of the opposing Pokemon was going to bring with. Uh, I think they're definitely going to lead with something like Beautifly for an easy setup or Minum. So with that in mind, I actually started to um, start with Waylord because it's a Soul's Vest. I kind of feel that I could kind of get a kill there before going down myself. So with that said, let's of course go into the match. So from the get-go here, Gary's going to lead off with Minum, which I thought was great because like I said here, uh, hopefully it isn't a Sash set that I can actually pick this off. But he will actually go directly for a Grass Knot and not only that, it's a crit and it almost KOs my Waylord or Hank the Tank. Luckily though, we're able to retaliate with an Earthquake and we'll be able to KO. Most likely that mine was a spec set. Uh, I think that's a very likely situation. However, we do pick that as a one up as he's gonna bring Beautifly. Now, I'm, I'm gonna sack way my Waylord. It really can't do anything else as I usually go for Substitute and not Quiver Dance. I thought that was unfortunate because I go for a self destruct I kind of felt, you know, if I'm going to do something, I'm gonna definitely explode. Uh, so Beautifly is a subset, which means that it will have something like Swarm, and that's going to be annoying. Now, Alola and Sasslash should be able to wall this Pokemon fairly alright, as my opponent is going to switch out, go to his Arbok, and with Intimidate Mind, yeah, there's really nothing to do versus this. Well, I do carry Earthquake, uh, I really just, I'm too sustainable myself for Earthquake against me, and can coil up. So, I'm feeling really threatened here, so I'm going to be forced myself to switching out, and go to Valley's Malona turn, uh, which was unfortunate, because it went for Glare. And I felt, oh, okay, 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 I see you. As um, I'm going to go and try to attempt a possible sweep here with Rock Polish, um, just to get my speed back up more than actually kind of parry the paralyzation. Now, Vibrava isn't necessarily the bulkiest Pokemon around. While I don't carry Ice Beam, I do have Side Shock and I do around 50%. But what is unfortunate here is not the defog in himself, but rather that my opponent go in to have Roost. And since I get fully paralyzed, uh, I won't be able to pick up this KO, which is really, really, really bad. Uh, while it is a 2 hit KO, as you guys saw, I really just I can't parry it anymore. I need to switch myself out, and that's that's too bad. I really, really want to use my C move there. 
as uh, I'm gonna swing in, swing in, send in Torterra as it goes for U turn, and that's fine. And what is unfortunate is though that you know Beautiful comes back. Now I should be possibly faster. Unfortunately, I am not. Uh, it goes, luckily for me, I should say, there for a substitute as a duplex my Stone Edge, but this is not a risk it can take for the longest, longest time. So if anything, I'm kind of forced here to uh, uh, switch out and uh, bring in my Lowland Sassler to be able to kind of parry whatever he goes for. And as you guys can see, he goes for another substitute. And um, well, now it is in Swarm Range. And not only that, but of course, he's going to have the, the Sea Savage bin. Luckily, I should say this is a Pokemon, this is a Pokemon that doesn't get tinted lens. However, Savage Bin and Swarm is something that really, really will sting quite a lot. I mean, this is a resisted hit. And I was thinking I was gonna take it a lot better than I actually end ending up doing because it does one in twenty HP, which is quite frankly incredible. While Bugbus is nowhere near able to KO me, it should definitely be stated here that I wasn't necessarily in the best range after that. Um, so we get. Left of recovery, so we're in a good spot here to take another bug boss. Uh, unfortunately, though, or luckily for my opponent, he does score a crit here, and that, of course, will guarantee the KO. Definitely did not see that one coming as I'm forced to bring in Garuga, my Sil Valley, which was something I was kind of was holding back on. I didn't want to necessarily reveal what kind of Sil Valley I was, but now I'm forcing myself to be able to speed and record with the Sun Head, but kind of KO that Pokemon. Uh, now he's gonna go the cute blob, which is Wigglytuff. I have nothing here for this Pokemon as I don't carry uh, Iron Head, so I'm going to force myself out with, of course, the U-turn, and I'm going to actually bring Torterra. The thing is here, now his remaining Pokemon will not appreciate a Bandit Woodhammer, so I don't care which one of this, his Pokemon take it, which one even does, will go to be close to dead. Will have stays in, it's dead, it's definitely not going to be able to take a Woodhammer, though the recall is not, is not good. Uh, now he's going to bring the Udong, the Dugong, and... <laughs> What a name. As uh, I'm gonna force myself to switch out, I'm gonna bring in my Helios, which was something I was kinda I didn't want to switch in Rodan because I felt that as stated before, it's kinda busted here. Now I will go for trick here mainly because I do fear that the Vibrava is gonna come in or you know the Arbok. Either way, I can kinda nullify them as it stands. Um And I do hear this sign to actually go for blisters run at it. I will connect this, which is lucky for me actually, quite frankly. And the Vibrava is no more. So his remaining Pokemon is Zabok, and it is the Dugong. And uh, I'm actually deciding here whether I should go for the sweep with the Rotom, or if it's gonna sp spice things up. Because at this point, his two remaining Pokemon cannot deal with uh, um, my Seal Valley or Rotom. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna switch out and go to my Seal or my. Oh, I actually went for Valis. This was a misplay on my side. I was thinking I was gonna go for Rock MC, but he goes directly for liquidation and you know close to killing me, and of course Aisha is gonna pick me up. So I definitely feel that that was a fair situation for <laughs> for Gara to get that. As I say there, I'm just gonna bring in Garuga and now I'm gonna go for a sword stance and I'm just gonna wrap the game up basically. Because my remaining Pokemon, Walter Terra can't do anything. And I definitely believe Rotom is able to, no matter what happened, kinda wrap things up. So I kinda want another Pokemon to take a tool on this. And of course, I think Silvala was the best one of doing so. As uh, I should probably have gone for another Sword Stance just to guarantee the KO. Because I'm kind of lucky here that my opponent here gets paralyzed. This also means that he doesn't get the glare off, which was something I'm pretty sure was going for. And if that would happen, I wouldn't have a tougher situation kind of coming back from it. But at the same time, you know, this game was already, of course, wrapped up. Well, I'm going to go for fake out here just to kind of get the little ship that is needed. I'm just going to go for multi-attack and of course that's going to be GG. And actually a win in my favor which was I can't remember when I won last time. It's been a long time since I actually did that. So I was really pleased with this wife of battle. Not necessarily because I won. While it is a plus, I don't... I wouldn't say I care about winning or losing. I rather like enjoy seeing... Uh, my opposing, opposing trainer actually used Pokemon that are unconventional, not that common, and just have fun with things. I kind of feel that's an edge that has disappeared from, um, well, from recent uploaders, I would say. A lot of players are, you know, talking about the competitive aspect of how good it is to, you know, oh, I was competitively more active. I don't care about that. I don't think most people who watch Wife of Bell cares about that, at least not in that aspect. Like, you can have... Um, really, really good meta-wise battle, but I think League is where it's at when, when the meta aspect really really shows 
where how a good a trainer is. Uh, I definitely believe in the smoking chair as a one, and definitely for an entertainment value for guys such as myself. It is important to really just not care about winning and more about how you won or how you lost and just the Pokemon in between that was the entertainment value. So with Gary in mind, who is definitely one of those battlers, I would say, uh, kind of gets that. Um, I definitely appreciate that I was able to kind of get a decent game out of that. And like I said, Rodan Frost is definitely not something I'm going to be using again. I do believe it's it's close to broken in the tier and definitely considered a matchup that of course allowed it. Uh, it's a very hard Pokemon to shake and of course this battle kind of spoke for it. So I really want to just thank Gara. Really cool Pokemon, really glad to see Beautifly being one of those Pokemon that even though it is so lowly regarded it still broke through the team. Hell, Resisted Hit has nothing on it, clearly. So with that said guys, I want to thank you for watching as always and of course, you know, stay tuned because we're definitely going to upload more throughout this week. So with that said, thank you guys as I said for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then of course, take care and join us always. Bye.